How goes the family? Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Today's subject matter is very near and dear to my heart because I love to see young entrepreneurs shine and I don't think they're talked about enough in the media. So I was like, you know what? Definitely going to talk about this young lady who inspires me and hopefully her story inspires you. All right. 16 year old salon uh, beauty supply owner in Brooklyn, New York. Okay. So where my New York people at tri-state people at if you're in the New York tri-state area, Connecticut, New Jersey, if you live in, you know, in the nearby states and you want to go visit, you are going to New York City anytime soon, particularly Brooklyn, go check out this young lady's beauty supply store. Please support her. It is nothing like supporting uh, African-American businesses, okay? Just like everybody else does. It's a beautiful thing. That's how you get on cold economically, family, all right? And with all the negative things, you know, slash topics circling around the world, media, you know, internet, etc. I thought that it was just time to talk about something good once again a good topic about this great young lady in brooklyn new york the owner of the new beauty supply store known as paris beauty supplies okay as you can see in the background paris beauty supplies in brooklyn new york paris mckenzie who is 16 years old okay i would have i was trying to get a job at a fast food joint when i was 16 years old the thought of owning a business at 16 years old was just never thought came through my mind so I just have to give this young lady credit. This is great. You know, I love to find stories like this. This is very good and impressive. I'm impressed that she was able to open up a beauty supply store during the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay. So if anyone's feeling bad and down about this situation that we're in, this young lady, Paris McKenzie, showing that miracles could still happen. Okay. Every single day. All right. Or as I like to call today's economy, the COVID-19 economy. She stated, and I quote, I do not have a lot of business experience. I've been helping my mom run her business since I was very, very young. So I know how to handle finances and how to market products in the store. And before I continue, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. This is very, very um, normal in most families that own businesses from generation to generation they pass down that knowledge and whatnot even if a person doesn't even want to actually run that business they know how to run a business so that opens the door of opportunity multiple multiple opportunities okay and opens the door as i like to call of just having options not just only having a job not just only having a business you know, it's very prevalent in a lot of other families and particularly immigrant families to know how they run the business, but they may become a lawyer or a doctor. They might go to the military. They might go work for the government, but they um, have the option of going to work for the family business. I think that's a beautiful thing. That's and that a lot of people. It's just tradition to do things like that. And we need to get on that train. And I see the how this young lady's family is on that train. So, like I said, I'm there. I, I love to talk about good stuff like this. You know what I mean? Just it gets me excited at the end of the day. So, um, but you know, it is what it is. You know, Paris' story gets better and better. Family, trust me. Paris has been doing one of the smartest, but for the most part, isn't one of the easiest things. Paris has been saving and obtaining experience from her entrepreneurial mother and the men in her life. That's another thing. I think with the COVID-19 economy, the smart people are doing the two things that I've been talking about before COVID-19, saving and investing, all right? I think people, more and more people are trying to get on the saving aspects, which I think is very good. For the economy, is it the best thing? No, because we li do live in a consumer-based economy, but we need to get back to a place that everybody sees no matter what the situation is, there's no such thing as a safe job. Those days are gone, long gone. The last two generations had that opportunity. They're long gone. Okay. So given the fact that those days are gone, most people are waking up to, I need to have options and more security and whatnot. Now I might get this check for my pension. I might get this check from social security, you know, but I need to have other options to be able to pull money and resources from because things will happen. That is just the way of life in the American economy. No matter who the president is, no matter who the governor is, that is a way of life. Multiple streams of income is a necessity. It's no longer an option. Okay, I will keep going because I just got to hit that one, you know, hard. Okay, <laughs> I can't put it any other way. All right, now, these experiences started, you know, because her mother, Paris's mother, owns a boutique and a salon, two businesses, that is actually two doors down from her store, which is even better, keeping it close and tight, especially when things happen. 
her mother who is Seneca uh, Seneca uh, Thompson stated that Paris has always been very responsible and leaving her with um, along with her businesses wasn't abnormal you know she grew up in this lifestyle I think this is beautiful this is what I like to hear and definitely see nowadays you know because we need that why because this is how most like I keep saying this is how most immigrant families get down when it comes to business they build up economic foundations that will um, allow their children to prosper and giving them a better head start so they have more options the word of the day should have been options because that's what we all need to be able to have Another great thing is that Paris hasn't developed any business plans and isn't really planning to be a uh, beauty supply business owner for the rest of her life. So it's not, a, it's not a guarantee that she's going to do this for the rest of her life, but it gives her an option. She stated, and I quote, I'm hoping to major in pre-med so I can become a orthopedic uh, pediatric surgeon. So like I stated earlier, she could be a doctor and a business owner if she wanted to. She could pass this business down or her future children if she wanted to, or family members if she wanted to. Options, family options. Uh, can't put it any other way. You know, she stated that in her interview, and her mother has high hopes that she um, remains a straight-A student so that um, she knows that she's gonna do it and, and she's gonna do a lot of other great things all at the same time. Paris is an honor student about to enter her junior year of high school. In fact, though, she's already taken college courses, which is very becoming a normal thing for a lot of high school kids nowadays. And I think that is very good. This is what I she stated. This is what I really like to see um, me being able to like create opportunities for her family, just like her mother and her other people in her life was able to create great economic opportunities in their family. And I say why? Because I love seeing it, too, because at the end of the day, the more options a child has and adults have opens the doors of so many other great opportunities mentally physically and definitely economically family and that's what we need to be working on more and more in 2021 because 2020 is basically over so paris please keep up the great work and here's um a picture of the inside of her store please keep up the great work please like i said if you're in the air if you know you're going to be if you live in the area buy, buy some for five dollars you know it's 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 the little things that count when it comes to supporting small family businesses all right it doesn't have to be a hundred dollars or anything like when people go to my online store it's always greatly appreciated most of the times they spend up to 10 15 20 dollars it's greatly appreciated you know that's just that's you're doing your little part to, su to support small businesses you know what i mean so, um, yeah, if you're in that tri-state area, like I said, New York City, New Jersey, if you're even in Philadelphia, you know, because people from Philadelphia go to New York and vice versa, you know, Newark, you know, Connecticut, you know, you know, upstate New York, show your support, family. You know, this is this is very important. OK, if you, you see yourself in business, I mean, going to um, Brooklyn, show show your support. All right. You, you know, Paris, you and your mother definitely inspire us all. OK, that's all I can say. And people like this always inspire me at the end of the day. And this is definitely what it's all about. Like I said, highlighting our businesses and supporting one another. I highlighted our banks. I highlight our business. I need to highlight the HBCUs. I need to highlight, you know, that's why I'm doing the, the, the live platform on Saturday. I'm going to help highlight other businesses, not just Larry's Anything Goes and whatnot. So, um, you know, because that's what it's all about. We need more positivity and support and stop worrying about the superficial things that that society keeps telling us that's important. It, if it's important and passionate to you in your heart, then it's important. Forget whatever society says. Even forget what I say. I know what's what I'm passionate about. That's why I have this channel. Let me know what you're passionate about in the comment section, family. Um, even if one doesn't purchase a product by simply liking, this is another thing that won't cost you a dime. By simply liking sharing and subscribing to one's business pages like a youtube channel or even a facebook page that's a great way of showing your support for a small business the simple things like that okay which costs you nothing but a couple of clicks of your time all right family so at the end of the day care bars is going into a transition right now um, i'm learning more and more about freebay and as more as the more i lear learn um, and the more i earn and as the more i earn the more i will share with you all in regards to because we're not just buying gold but buying cryptocurrencies and various other different things of that nature but that's what it's all about the links in the description if you want to sign up cool if not it's all good in the neighborhood negative comments always get deleted and blocked so anyways as always remember 
You can't get fired if you own the company. And as you can see, Paris McKenzie owned something at the age of 16 years old, family. And it's time for all of us to start owning things all at the same time, all right? So do the great three free things. Like, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow because you know I post every day. And as always, make money moves.